A chase that started because he failed to dim his headlights. Javier Ambler was tased four times as he begged for his life. Six months ago, the KVU defenders revealed what happened to him in custody of Williamson County Sheriff's deputies. Now Texas state lawmakers are vowing to prevent situations like this in the future. They're proposing legislation that takes aim at what they say created a toxic mix. Police work and reality show TV cameras. Here's senior reporter Tony Plohetsky. Do me a favor and step out of the car real quick, okay? For 18 months, the show Live PD turned the Williamson County Sheriff's Office and hey, several of its deputies into it. reality <laughs> TV stars. But two days after the KVU defenders exposed the death of Javier Ambler and amid a national controversy this summer about policing in America, producers ended the highly rated cable show. When the state legislature convenes next month, lawmakers plan to ban shows like it from ever partnering with Texas law enforcement agencies again. When you watch that footage, you can see that those deputies were being more aggressive than they otherwise would have, uh, and that's because they were um, more interested in boosting their ratings than protecting um, a citizen. Um, they were more interested in becoming a reality TV show star than serving our neighbors. State Representative James Tallarico, a Democrat from Round Rock, has filed a bill to ban reality TV crews from filming, quote, peace officers while acting in the line of duty for the purpose of creating a reality television show. The bill is the latest development in the aftermath of reporting by the KVU defenders, which first obtained this video in June showing deputies using tasers on Ambler as he cried that he had congestive heart failure and could not breathe. House Bill 54 is also named the Javier Ambler Law. Our community failed him in that moment, but hopefully through legislation like this, we can save others uh, who may be victims of police violence. In the following months, we also showed other examples of controversial policing tactics while the show filmed, including this apparent made-for-TV no-knock arrest of a man who sat peacefully in court hours earlier and other force encounters aired on the show. This video showing Ambler's death was from an Austin police officer who arrived on the scene. The live PD video never aired. In September, a Williamson County grand jury indicted Sheriff Robert Chody on an evidence tampering charge for his alleged role in destroying live PD footage of Ambler's death. Chody was defeated in the November election. There's so many facets that beg for, for our response. And Senator John Whitmire, the state's longest serving member of the Senate, said he plans to push for his colleagues in that chamber to pass the Javier Ambler law. No doubt in my mind that that had everybody performing for the cameras instead of doing their duty of protecting the public, including Mr. Ambler. Ambler's family approached lawmakers this summer. They had not known before then about the details of his death. Ambler's sister Kim said she and her parents wanted to do something that would have a lasting impact on policing in Texas. It means a lot to me and my family. You know, I feel like, honestly, if YPD wasn't there that day, my brother would still be here. I honestly believe that in my heart. So in order to not have anyone else deal with this, I feel like this bill is very important. Um, I feel like police work isn't for entertainment. Tallarico says he has heard from lawmakers on both sides of the political aisle, indicating that they will support his bill. He says those lawmakers say that they want Texans to have confidence in law enforcement agencies. At the state capitol for the KVU Defenders, Tony Plahetsky, KVU News.